Hello everybody, welcome to today's video lecture. In this lecture, we will be talking about some common terminology used in multiplication. So, let us start. In this example, we have been asked to multiply 6 with 4. This is a fairly straightforward problem. All we need to do is either read the table of 6 or the table of 4 and reach the answer. I will choose to read the table of 6 because uh, reading the table of 6, I will be able to reach the answer quickly. So let's start reading the table of 6. 6 times 1 equals to how much? 6. 6 times 2 gives us 12. 6 times 3 gives us 18. And finally, 6 times 4 gives us 24. Now, if we pay our attention to the spot immediately before the multiplication side, what do we find? We find that that spot is being occupied by number 6. So numbers such as 6 which occur immediately before the multiplication sign have a special name. They are called multi
line and in between there will be a division sign. So we can say that multiplication equals to product divided by multiplier. Using the same logic, if you want to find the multiplier, what we will have to do? We will have to divide the product with the multiplication. So uh, we have reached almost at the end of our lecture but before ending the lecture we will have a quick recap of what we have learned here. So in this chapter we have learned that multiplication times multiplier gives us what? Product. Now if we are given or if we know product and multiplier how to find the multiplication? Product divided by multiplier. Similarly, if the product and the uh, multiplication is given and we are asked to find the multiplier, what we have to do? We will have to divide product by the multiplication. So with this, I would like to end today's lecture. I hope this has been useful to anyone out there trying to learn about some common term terms and terminology that are used in multiplication. So bye-bye. See you next time with more new videos on